<clears throat> What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. Of course, I had a card fall down. Okay, Nine of Wands. Um, hope everybody's doing well. I'm trying a new kind of reading out. Um, <clears throat> I am going to be doing some messages from your person, maybe that you need to hear some things that you might not know about your situation that, you know, the people, <laughs> whoever your people are, want you to hear. Um, I was listening to a bunch of different songs. I wrote down a bunch of lyrics. Um, some of them might be a trigger warning, so heads up. Um, Sometimes we're dealing with people who are in a low vibration, so these could be from their higher self as well. Um, sometimes they, these might be things that this person will never say to you out loud because of just who they are. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, anyways, I'm on the sign of Scorpio. You have the four cups at the bottom. And a bunch of shit just fell out, so hold up. <laughs> you have the Magician. Okay, fine. The Four of Cups and the Tower just fell off the bottom. You have the Death card. You have the Five of Cups. You have the Hierophant. You have the Two of Cups. You have the Queen of Cups. And you have the Four of Pentacles. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Who are we dealing with? Well, it could be a Taurus. Could be another Scorpio with the Death card. It could be... Whoever the magician would be in your book. Someone who knows what it is that doing. Someone who manipulates things to go in their favor. Someone who could have been a little bored. Someone who found this um, offer to be a little unexpected. Uh, maybe someone didn't know what they were doing, but somehow you got like thrown into their life. Someone holds on to you. Could be a Taurus. Someone who never opened up about how they felt about you. Shocker. Um, someone has some regrets about some things. Um, they do see you as their soulmate. They do see you as someone who is probably um, really beautiful to them. Someone who maybe doesn't really express their emotions. They see you as kind of sad. Um, with the lotus flower, some of you guys have been through a lot of things. Um, some of you guys have dealt with some people who... Even though they have regrets, they were intentionally doing things. <clears throat> and um, some people just did things according to how they grew up, how they were taught. Someone didn't feel like they were good enough for you. Or maybe at one point in time you felt like you were not good enough for them. Let me try to shuffle this madness and we'll see what the messages are. This one wanted to come out, so we'll keep it. It says, you drive me crazy. <laughs> well, I don't know one Scorpio that feels bad about it. It says, my faith is shaking, but I still believe. It says, I don't want to let you go. Clearly, with the four of pentacles, they don't want to let you go. Someone, this could have been a situation where a lot of things happened and it was like, they're finding it hard to believe in this connection, even though it's still here, but it's like, they still do. Like a part of them still holds on to this. I still wonder where you are. You played with my heart. You think so? Hmm. I don't know if I agree. I don't know a lot of Scorpios who play with people on purpose, but there are Scorpios that do. I probably shouldn't want this so bad. With the magician, which is why things probably are getting manipulated. Like energy, like thoughts, like, you know. You taught me patience. 
probably should have told you. Why do you like to fight so much? <laughs> Anna. Scorpios like to fight sometimes because if they're dealing with people who don't communicate how they feel or what they want or like what they like, like that things are okay, then a Scorpio is going to overthink times 5,000 and they're going to think that something's wrong and they're going to try to fix it. But if they're dealing with someone who doesn't communicate, they're going to push every single button, which is probably why we drive you crazy. I don't know if I feel bad about it, but I'm just saying we're going to push every button to get you to say something, anything, how you really feel what you want to do, like, what's really going on in your head, you know? It's probably why we like to fight so much. So that is an answer to someone's question out there. You expect me to know. So Scorpio might not have revealed how they feel either. And it says, all these crazy thoughts can't get them out of my head. And I know you're tired of waiting. I'm even tired of me. Please don't cry. I still need you. And it says, you deserve the world. Let me run it with you. You ain't got to be jealous. The pressure is triple now. I'm getting bread. And you deserve better than me. I can't make a right because I know I'm wrong. I feel like this is a situation where you guys are not together. This is something that might have ended in a way where you don't know what this person is doing. They don't know what you're doing. Uh, this person could be trying to get their money together. This person doesn't want you to cry over them. Um, this person doesn't want to let you go at all. But at the same time, they have a lot of pressure on their back to do things in their life right now. Um, whether it's by people, places, things. Um, and they feel like you played them. But I feel like they still need you they still want to be with you they feel like you're jealous they feel like maybe you have thoughts all over in your head and um that you and them could probably run the world together so they probably should have told you that they don't want to let you go they probably should have told you that they still want this to work they probably should have told you that you deserve everything But they didn't. They're replaying a scenario over and over in their head. And they're saying, I can't make it right because I know I'm wrong. But you don't need to be jealous because in a way you deserve better than them. And I'm not going to cry on my own fucking channel. So, if you don't know, now you know. But I feel like this person has a lot of emotions. You have a lot of emotions. Whether or not you guys actually express them to each other, they're here. Whether or not you admit that you think about each other, it's, it's still here. Okay, I need to end this <laughs> um, video. Um, if you'd like to book a personal reading, check out the um, description box below. And um, thank you guys for all of your love and support on this channel. I appreciate everybody to the max. Bye.